Let's take you to Zimbabwe now, where the coronavirus pandemic has disrupted works to upgrade football stadiums, which had been barred from hosting international matches by the Confederation of African Football. Here is CGTN's Farai Mwakutuya with that story. Authorities were racing against time to renovate football stadiums to CAF standards before June 15th so that the national team would not have to play on foreign soil. While COVID-19 has deferred Continental and World Cup qualifiers indefinitely, it's also ground upgrades to a halt. They are, they are caretakers there right now who are doing the, just the, the minimal maintenance. But in terms of the grant works that we had planned, we are not able to meet the deadlines. But critics say the pandemic is helping cover up poor preparations. I see a window of, uh, of opportunity for excuses uh, that just uh, presented itself. You know, for people that were not so sincere about what they wanted to do about this whole renovation of stadiums. I would have thought that, you know what, before, during this corona, they could have actually speeded it up. Because essential services are working. People are working in essential services. Because these stadiums are not for CAF. You know, we, we're acting as if we are building these stadiums for CAF. We're not building these stadiums for CAF. We're building these stadiums for ourselves. When things eventually get back to normal, it may be difficult to resume the construction works whose budgets are likely to have gone up. With everything at a standstill, authorities are counting the immediate costs. It doesn't look like there'll be any football action taking place here anytime soon. Now that's a loss to fans who live for the thrill of live football. But it's an even bigger financial loss to the venue proprietor and other stakeholders. During a match day, there are a lot of people that are employed. The ball boys, the, the vendors, the cashiers, the policemen whom we hire, the referees, the match officials. So there's lots of employment. A lot of people are not getting what they should be getting in terms of, uh, of, of maybe salaries or remuneration. Yeah. That's why everyone who loves the beautiful game here can't wait for its return. Until then, and despite warnings to stay at home, some have resorted to playing themselves in the shadows of the terraces from where they normally watch. Farai Mokutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.